IGN did a massive best game of all time vote. Uh, in which they uh, were posting this stuff on social media over the course of several days. They, uh, I'm not sure, because I didn't read uh, into it further, I'm not sure how they got the list that made the bracket in the first place, if those were also sent in by people, or if they decided it internally and then did the voting afterwards. Um, however, uh, it, it ran, and we have a winner. And the IGN readers have determined... That God of War 2018 is the best game of all time. The bracket, I can say, was already kind of weird. There were some very interesting choices that even made the bracket in the first place. Uh, like The Sims 3, for example. Probably didn't need to be in the running on any side of the bracket for best game of all time. Um, but some of the victories on this bracket pained me. Severely. Uh, there were some in there that made absolutely no sense. Like, what was there? There was a really good one in here. Um, uh, where's that? Super Mario 64, for example, lost in the opening bracket to, uh, Batman Arkham City. Pain. I felt physical pain. When I saw that, it also tells you the level of gamer that was voting yeah. on this list. Yeah. Listen, um, uh, anything that, that comes out of IGN's mouth. Well, this foolish. was IGN's readers, too. This, this is Any, the readers of it. Exactly. Yeah. The sheep that follow IGN <laughs> is bad. <laughs> All right. You can't take anything IGN says seriously. Ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're bought and paid for. All right? The only ones that follow them are sheep. So I did, last night at the end of my stream, I, I took the bracket they provided, and I ran through the whole thing. It took me an hour. Oh, God. We're not doing it here. No, we're not doing it here. I'm just going to say, the final two games in my list... Um... Some of the bracket matchups in the first round were fucking heinous, too. But, um, the final two ended up being GTA V on one side and Ocarina of Time on the left. And I gave it to GTA V. Um, and I could make a case for either of those games being the best game of all time for different reasons. Um, but, uh, but that's what, from that bracket, that's what, that's what it came down to. It was GTA V on one side, Ocarina of Time on the other. I gave it to GTA 5. Uh, but in their list, I think the uh, their list ended up being a, co a competition between GTA 5 and, and uh, God of War. Um, but some of the games that got put out early on that list, like, fucking just crushed my soul. Like, Super Mario 64 not making it out of the opening round and losing to something like that. Batman. I Batman, mean, listen, Arkham Batman, City. The Arkham it's a good game. Good games. It's not it's Super not, Mario 64. It's not Super Mario 64. Jesus fuck. Stop the madness, dude. Just stop the madness. Yeah. It's really hard when you do lists like this, though, because there, and there's several problems. One of those problems is that people want to err on the side of um, the newer games, because newer games are better than older games on average for obvious reasons. We've, got, we've had more time to master the art of making video games, but that's why you have to look at it you have to look at these games within the pocket that they were released yes. and compare them to each other within yes. their release, yes. which was part of my struggle with World of Warcraft in this list, which made it relatively far in. But that game has been running for like 16 fucking years. Yeah. So trying to compare something like World of Warcraft to other titles that came out one time. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, no matter how influential World of Warcraft is and how good it was at its peak... It was six, like you're you're comparing 16 years. In fact, in the bracket for me, it was World of Warcraft versus Ocarina of Time before the finals. And I was sitting here going, I've got to compare 16 fucking years of one of the most influential MMOs of all time. But still, they had 16 fucking years versus a single release of Ocarina of Time in 19, like, 98. Like, you, like it's really crazy. Um, and then other things that were weird in the list, they had Tetris in there. Which is like a cheat code, because ultimately, and this is why I said, you know, there are certain games that transcend 
uh, game lists like this because they just win by default because of their impact on the industry. Tetris is one of those games. You don't you don't get to even put Tetris in because they Tetris just immediately goes to the front of the line because fucking Tetris. Same with Pong. If you put Pong in, Pong just wins. It's the game that basically created the fucking video game market. You don't like it's a, it's in the pantheon. There's there's Pong, Tetris, and I put Minecraft in that pantheon now. It's above gaming. Minecraft is bigger than gaming now. It's not even it's it's it's, it's it created a genre, but it's its own game. It's like Tetris, it's like Pong. So I took it out of the bracket eventually. I moved it up and I was like, "You know what? After a point I was like, I got to give it the its opponent the buy cuz Minecraft is Bigger, it's the Pantheon now. So some of them you have to like take them out of the fucking list and put them up top. But yeah, very weird list, very interesting stuff was in there. Uh, but uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, God of War. Not to say that it isn't a good game, because it is an incredible video game. The 2018 God of War. Uh, but uh, best game of all time. Not even close. Maybe not even a stretch. It, not even top 10. <laughs> Literally. It's, not, it's, 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 it's probably not even top 25. Not to put you on I'm the sorry. spot, but what is your greatest game of all time? Um, which is really fucking hard. It's not easy, yeah, but I what is? Like, I can't really say. I can't really say because it's too. That's it, too much of a complex question. You start I mean, to compare genres that don't even make sense. Like at one yeah. point, it was like StarCraft versus like fucking like Ocarina of Time or something. It wasn't that, but it, that was like the the point. Like, how are you supposed to fucking compare? I did an beat RTS. God of, I did beat God of War. I did beat God of War, so... And it's not even top 25. Sorry to break it to you. Uh, uh, I beat the majority of it without using the UI. I turned it, it off. God of, God of War can go and suck a fat nutsack, all right? If you're going to try and put that... It's like... It's like saying a Honda Civic Si is a better vehicle than a Ferrari. All right, yeah, it's a nice car. Drives well. It's reliable. It's the best version it's ever been. It's no Ferrari. I'm sorry. We're just in a different... You're driving a Honda. I'm sorry. It's just, you can't... It, it, it's, it, it's great, but it's not... It's not a, it's not a Ferrari. I'm, I, you put it, you put, how can you, how it's great in its own right, but it's not greatest of all time. It's just, it's laughable. It, that's laughable. It's, it's, I'm sorry. It, it, it's just laughable. I don't even know. I, I have no idea how, and I'm sure the list is probably peppered with a shit ton of amazing games. I have no idea how God of War 2018 is Trump Red Dead Red Dead Redemption was in that list and for me Red Dead Redemption how? is ahead. How? Like no. how is even how is Red Dead even in the top 25 games of all time? God of War might be the, in the top 5 games in the last 5 years? Sure. But we're talking about of all time. I'm sorry. My 34-year-old <laughs> soul has seen and played too many games and have been can't. through many different generations to tell you, spoiler alert, for your 14-year-old or 18-year-olds out there that absolutely love God of War, it ain't the best game of all time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, oh, my list almost became Ocarina of Time on one side and Mario 64 on the other. And there's a reason for that. If you look at when they came out, not I only were Red they listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm reading this chat right here. No, these go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. These motherfuckers think they know what I'm playing. I own Red Dead Redemption Two. I sunk thirty hours into the game, and you might be thinking to yourself, thirty hours in Red Dead? Ha! That's nothing. <laughs> I've got three hundred. You didn't really play the game. Well, guess what? It didn't capture my attention. The way a game should after 30 hours of playing it. It ain't the best game ever made. It isn't even in the top 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> Minecraft's a better game than Red Dead. It will stand the tests of time. It will be replayed more. Your children will play Minecraft. Your kids 
will say Red Dead Redemption sucks ass by the time they're 14. <laughs> Same with God of War. They will fucking hate the game. They will say, Dad, Mom, how did you play this? They will play Minecraft. And they will love it. Sorry. This ain't even a hot take. This is reality. This is reality. What okay. what came what came down to a lot of these competitions in this list was you were looking at games that were not only they were old but they were rated categorically incredible at their time by both critics and players but not only that but they influenced or created entire genres upon the release so they got it right out of the gate so my list almost became Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64 for similar reasons you're looking for you're looking at Nintendo who who could not have smashed two games out of the park fucking harder. You've got like one of the first, if not the first, honest to god open world 3D third person action adventure game. Blew it out of the park. Mario 64. Dude, basically Nintendo the first owns the list. honest to god yeah. like open ended platformer 3D third person and crushed it. And like the things, the mechanics that they included in those two titles went on to yeah. be permeate, to permeate the entire Everything. fucking genre Everything. for the rest of time. Yes. So not only did, not only was it like a case of like, oh, this is the Model T where it came out and yeah, you got in and it drove three kilometers an hour and it worked. Yeah. They came out and they skipped, they skipped right to like, they, they skipped right to Ferrari. They went, fuck it. They were going yeah. straight to the head of the line. Performance yes. vehicle. Nearly perfect video game. Yes. And first of its kind. Yes. Good luck all that come after. Yes. Listen, you want to put you want to put Red Dead Redemption at the top of these open world survival um genre like you can't you can give God of War. I wouldn't I wouldn't smite you if you gave God of War the greatest game of that genre, of that type of game. But we're talking about the list says the greatest game of all time. It's not even close. N if Nintendo would own in the top 10, six or seven of those games, flat out. Yeah. Six or seven of them, Nintendo owns. You have to put Tetris in there. You have to put Pong in there. You have to put Minecraft in there. Well, those yeah. are that, that's why I like. That's where for me, those games exist outside the conversation because they're an institution of their own. Yeah. So I don't even put them in there. I yeah. just say, look, they're you already know they're 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 they're, they're like the Mount fucking Rushmore of video yeah. games. They yeah. exist outside of the conversation because they automatically win. You put yeah. Pong in, it wins. Tetris wins. I'm, Minecraft. I'm going wins. Mario sixty four is the greatest game ever made. And I would not, I'm, I'm I would just, not be upset yeah. about that choice. I'm just going Mario 64. Um, and yeah, it's a subjective bias opinion, but it's not that bias. Like there is, it's kind of like you know, when you're saying who's the greatest UFC fighter of all time. You know, if somebody says John Jones, Anderson Silva, um, Khabib, you know, there, there, there's like, you know, you, you, you can make, you can't get mad. At somebody, I kind of get mad because you, you can make it. You can make a case. You can make a case for like. But you make a case. Yeah. You can't make a case for God of War. There isn't one. There's no case. It's just. It's just a really good fucking video game. Yes. There's just no case. But like, for for me, you have to do more than just be a really fucking good video game. Otherwise, a lot more games get way further in this list. Yes. It's just too hard of a question. I mean, it's a it's a triggering question to begin with that gets everybody talking. I think it's I think it's a good piece of oh, it was great uh, of, of social media uh, yeah. a buzz. Hulu Hulu backed this thing, so they they got their their advertising money worth. Yeah, uh, but you know, it, Super Mario sixty four is 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 up there. I have a hard time. Like, if you axed out Super Mario sixty four for Ocarina of Time, I can't be mad at you. Um, but at the same time, like. I, I just, I can't think of any recent games. There's been some incredible games as of late. And it's not to say that a recent game can cannot become the greatest of all time. It doesn't mean that just because these games came before that nobody can ever touch them, ever. Yeah. 
I'm not saying that. I'm not that biased. But I, I am telling you that the only recent games that could ever come into that talk is Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto V. That's it. And not Grand Theft Auto V because I play it for a living. I didn't even play the campaign of Grand Theft Auto V. I didn't give two squirts a fucking piss about the Grand Theft Auto franchise before I started role-playing. It's the fact that how many games they sold, how moddable the game is, how relevant it stayed, how vast of content that is being created around this and, and, and how it's transcended online play and has stayed as relevant and as popular as it has. Oh, and by the way, the game's incredible as well. It's just, it, it isn't a glitchy fuck show. It's a good game. The storylines are well acted. It is, they come out with these games like once every seven fucking years. They take their time with it. Rockstar knows what they're doing. There is dialogue to be had when you want to throw in maybe those two games in the mix for, Route Mush, for, for, for the game of, of, of Rushmore. You can throw those in. I don't get mad at you. You can't throw in The Witcher. You can't throw in God of War. You can't throw in uh, 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 Horizon Zero Dawn. You can't throw in uh, all these other great, uh, uh, these great fucking amazing games. Uh, the Last of Us. You can't put those in. They're not. Ra they're not Rushmore. They're Rushmore of the genre, but not of the industry of the entire. You just can't do it. You can't do it. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's tough. I might, I might, after having done that list and, and so many games on there, like, not even belonging on, the, on like, the opening bracket, I do get the, the, the feeling like I want to do my own bracket where I sit down and fill this shit out and then do some community voting and then show my own bracket at the end. Um, you have to do it by genre, man. All time is just too... Well, all it's, time is all time is fun, but whenever I do, like when I put the video up, the reason why it's an hour is because I'll go. I've talked, you know, I, I'm talking about the stuff like that, and why it's difficult, and why, like at the end, I could have just as easily put some of the other games that didn't make it in the finals and been like comfortable having that conversation, because when you're talking about an industry that's been around as long as video games now and has produced as many games as the industry has. Uh, is that there are lots of games you can make a case for, which is ultimately more important than deciding the ultimate best, because the ultimate best is going to be very subjective, for, yes. like as a thing. Yes. Um, you can be more objective about specific genres and things like that. It's still difficult, but you can be more objective. But when you start crossing fucking real time strategy with racing games, you can't do it. You just or can't like, do it. The you best just, you can do is take genres and put games up against other games. Uh, like you said, Mario 64 versus Batman. You can't do that. You have to put Mario 64 in the category of those type of games. You need yeah. to put Ocarina of Time with it. You need to put... Uh, uh, any of those uh, well it would be like Mar it would be like it would be like Mario Banjo Donkey Kong yes you need to those are all like platformer collectathons yes. right yes and then you need to take that and you need to get some of the new ones right you yeah. got to throw in the 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 um you go uh, like Ori in the Blind Forest exactly. and shit right? like that you yeah. got to throw all those in there so that then you get the best of that genre then you take that top game and you and put it up brackets. against the top game of yeah. the different genre and you see which ones really hold out you can't just you can't just take a hundred games close your eyes take them out and put them in a bracket it, it's 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 you know it's western Co conference finals versus the eastern conference finals you got to put the westerns and the easterns against each other then have the top dogs go up against each other at the at the grand finale to see who's really the top dog can't do it any other way it's too like yeah where do you put sports games on the list like you can't you just can't do it you can't this shit just triggers me just talking about it i'm triggered. you know what though you know you know what though i did i did move tony hawk pro skater 2 into like the quarterfinals it made it that far sports some sports games did transcend sports which is what tony hawk pro skater 2 did um but like, you know, there comes a point where it's really fucking difficult to put the soulless fucking husk that is sports titles, no matter how good they are, 
yeah. up against every other genre. Like that's that's a fucking that's a meme. What are you gonna like? Oh, your best case scenario is you put like NHL '94 on the list and walk away, and maybe like and maybe like I don't know FIFA FIFA fucking '98. Uh, yeah. Some shit like the like and, and again they're older ones because they were genre defining at the time because sports titles in the modern era haven't changed since about two thousand four. So uh, the, it's very di- very very difficult, very challenging. But yeah, there were. It's a hard thing to do. There are so many good fucking games, but it was an interesting list. More interesting to see how know. current our IGN readers were were voting, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, so that was that was kind of fun. So there you go.